Hello everyone, welcome to Chirap SP dot and Sysap tutorial. In this video, we'll learn how to use the captcha code in a contact SP. So we'll first we'll call the captcha code and then we'll just validate the captcha code. Inserted the captcha code is valid or not. So let me open the Visual Studio and uh, let me create one page that is the contact us page. So right click on the project name, go to the add, add new item. So page name is contact us. Contact us. So contact us page is created. So now now let me op create some field for the contact us. So then I'm going to create one label for the error message. I'll just insert the label error message here. Next is again label and create the name text box so this one to the name so I need the react text here name field second one I'm taking the uh, mobile or email. email I'm giving the text box name email the next is address address then here I'm giving the uh, Now we need the one button to insert the data. So I'm get the data. So I'm giving the context SBT. Let me run this page. So this is my contact us page. There is a name, email address, and submit. So I'll just add the captcha code here. So for adding the captcha code, I have to create first create the captcha code page. So captcha code, my captcha is already created there. I'm creating the captcha and keeping into the session. I'll call this my captcha page into the my uh, head. So for that, I've already written the code. I will just this go through the line by line. So this is my I'm call I'm calling one image tag, image tag you are you can take it from the toolbox and here we can call the my captcha page so my captcha.spx is already created so it will just generate the captcha and it will display the captcha and second if i'm creating one text box there we can insert the captcha and validate so let me run captcha is created or not yeah captcha is created this is with the br tags that is one by one bottom this yeah so this is my captcha gate every replace the captcha will captcha will change so after submitting i i, I would like to ch check the captcha code is correct or not inserted captcha code is correct or not for that i'll write one on click function here come to the and, and here I will just check the captcha code is correct or not so for checking writing some code so here I have written two times So in level one, I'll just display the message. So here I'll do capture code each. And 
I'm just going to give the color for the captcha code. So level one four color system dot drawing dot area and the green select the green. So captcha code is correct. It will give the green color and captcha code is incorrect. It will give the red color. Let me check with the captcha. So now I'm just inserting the captcha code here. Eight nine three three two. So a small letter doesn't matter because we already converted captcha code in the lower case here also where we are generating captcha i'm just creating the session with the lower case okay. and here also i'm checking the captcha with the lower case whatever the text box text box we are just calling with the lower case check yeah captcha correct i'm just inserting the wrong captcha 89 is not there so captcha code is incorrect means captcha code is working now so here you can write your insertion code so we already discussed about the how to insert data into the database the follow that video and you can write the insertion code here thank you for watching